So today I have Ash here. Um, he's just going to stay for the beginning of the video because he would get too bored probably if we did him for the whole video. Um, so baby Ash is just going to go for the introduction. Um, but basically I am reviewing Rodent Pro. Um, I'll be doing a little bit of unboxing later in the video and I will give you a warning just in case you're squeamish. Um, but it is basically an online uh, alternative to getting your frozen mice at the pet store and it's much cheaper and also most pet stores that I've been to, I've been doing this a while, I've had snakes for about a decade, um, just you know various different snakes over the years um, and so I've had a lot of different things that I've fed them and, um, you know, <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of th that stuff at the pet store. Most of it, sadly, is not humane. Um, the good thing about this is that they at least claim to be humane. So I will go through, um, what I thought about that, whether or not I thought, um, they indeed, um, did things like they said they did, whether or not I thought they were in general just, you know, some uh, a company that you could trust. And um, also, I'm going to show you at the end so that you can make your own decision as to whether or not you think um, that's, part, that's part of why we did the unboxing at the end, so that you can see for yourself what they look like. And Because typically, if they're, if they're not killed humanely, it's pretty easy to tell. I have only done it once, and so I can't do a prolonged record of this company quite yet. I've only tried it once, but I'm just going to go off of this one time. Um, and then later, maybe I'll do an update when I've used it several times. So, um, actually, what really made me want to try this company out was not the good price, it was not the convenience, but it was this. It says right here that all of their mice are humanely euthanized um, with a method that is actually recommended by veterinarians so it's not something that they just say doesn't hurt them it's something that veterinarians say is the most humane way possible and this is consistent with what I've seen when I was looking at the bags I um, I know uh, how they're killed at the pet store, at least my pet store. Um, all the pet stores actually that I've ever been to, one of two ways is how you can tell just by looking at the body that they were killed. Um, you'll either see a lot of bloody noses, broken skulls, where they just blunt trauma, you know, blunt trauma to the head, killed them that way. Or they stuck them in the bag, then sealed the bag shut when they were still alive and then put them in the freezer and had them freeze alive in the bag and you can tell because they will look like like, like the position that they died in they will look like they are outstretched pushing up against the bag um, trying to get um, the seam of the bag open, um, tr trying to get out of the bag. That That's what it looks like. They don't look like they died peacefully. They look like they died extremely erratically. Um, so when I looked at these bags that they sent, um, there was no blood and there was no sign to me that they were trying to, they looked like they were trying to get out. They just simply looked like they were sleeping and died in their sleep, which is exactly what happens um, with the method that they use. Um, that, that's, that's just what happens with that. So, um, I don't like anything dying, uh, like, I'm, like I said, a lot of times. But you have to appreciate the circle of life in the sense that sometimes there just is no way around it. And um, it is such thing when you have a snake as a pet. So 
no, there's, there's nothing that's, um, a halo about any of this, but if there was the kindest, nicest way, this would be it. Um, and you think about, you know, sitting down, eating a burger, most of us do not think twice about that. We don't think how the cow was killed. We don't think how the pig was killed. We don't kill, think how the turkeys were killed. You know, and this is actually, in my opinion, an even more humane way of how a lot of farm animals are killed. So, um, you know, when you look at this, if, you're, if you eat meat and you're looking at this and you think, oh, that's sad, well, then you might as well be vegetarian or vegan because um, what you're putting in your mouth probably died even worse of a way than, than the way that these guys um, were euthanized here. I have a pretty soft heart. I have chickens. I have quail. I have turkeys. I can't kill them, you know, for, for food. Um, unless, unless they are extremely aggressive, extremely, extremely aggressive. And I know that there's no home for them anywhere. Um, and that, you know, they are a risk to the rest of my flock. Um, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> so, uh, and I mean, not often at all. So... Um, rarely do we butcher here, and so I, you know, I, a lot of times go to the store, get my own chicken, <laughs> um, you know, a lot more expensive that way, and man, it would be so easy, um, price-wise, but my heart just can't do it, especially because the snake needs to eat every week, uh, and I would have to give it something that was sweet and kind and not bothering anybody, not something that was, like, you know, causing extreme issues for the flock. So, if you've been sitting here and you know some of my other videos and you're like, why don't you just use your own poultry? That's why. Quick disclaimer for anyone that doesn't know uh, what I'm about to show. Uh, please, um, if you're squeamish, if you're vegan, if you um, are easily creeped out by rodents, do not watch this video as it will probably disturb you. This is really the only downside to owning a snake. You have to feed them whole rodents and getting them like this um, with dry ice and overnight shipping, um, believe it or not, even with that, even with that extra charge, they are still probably four times less, four or five times less than those tiny little packs you get at the store. And as long as you put them in the freezer, you know, they'll last a long, long time. So we've got uh, brand new hatchlings. And for them, we've got extra small pinkies. Um, a lot of options that pet stores don't have, and sometimes you need that. Um, really teeny tiny snakes, like newborn corn snakes. This may look about the same in size to most people, but when you, when you have a snake that's that small, getting those extra small pinkies instead of larger pinkies, and they actually, um, they actually separate them for you and that you can buy if you just want extra small you can buy those until they get big enough to get you know the bigger ones so we've got pinkies for our baby um, corn and milk snake and then we've got small mice for our uh, for our um, baby ball python so I could not fill up my box but I got as much as I could possibly use without anything going to waste before it went bad in the freezer who um, you know, go to reptile shows and they, they recommend Rodent Pro. So hopefully Rodent Pro is something that I can rely on. I live about an hour away from the nearest pet store, so not only does this save me gas 
and time, um, but just ec economically it saves money by getting it in bulk like this. Okay, so I just did the math on this, and for example, 100 pinky mice for $34, so that's, you know, 34 cents per mouse versus at the pet store you have just like six pinkies and they sell that for eleven twelve dollars and so that's like two dollars per pinky versus thirty four cents per pinky